So I've been a little remiss in recording this video in which I announce the prizes for the contest that I sponsored a couple of weeks ago, specifically the comic book room makeover contest that I initiated. And so I'm finally ready to announce what the prizes are going to be. If you're curious, stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to do a couple of things. I am going to tell you what the prizes are that will be awarded to those individuals that are the winners of my comic book room makeover contest. We're also going to take a look at one entry that someone sent over to me, and it's honestly a fantastic entry. I was a little jealous of this person's setup as well as their comic book collection. So I definitely want to encourage you to stay tuned for that part of the video because I think that there are a lot of really wonderful ideas that you out there will get from watching this video. If you're thinking about making some improvements to your comic book room, if you want to see some really cool books, uh, if you want to be envious, you want to stay tuned for that portion of the video. Uh, with that said, I, I do want to give a huge shout out to each one of the sponsors and I'll talk about them in just a moment. But I also want to give a huge shout out to those individuals like Joey Solo and one other unnamed individual, a subscriber of the channel that actually uh, sent me funds to pass back to the winners of this contest. I am very thankful for those individuals as well as the sponsors that we are going to talk about in just a moment. If you watched one of my previous videos where I talked about the contest, what I did announce was uh, a financial uh, award that I was basically going to be giving along with Joey Solo and another unnamed individual. But I want to I want to talk a little bit more about that. And then I want to talk about the prizes that the sponsors are also going to send um, with a little little bit of detail there, I think. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is giving to the winner of the contest, the comic book room makeover contest, the winner will receive basically $250 from you know myself, Joey Solo, and this other unnamed individual. They will receive $250 and it's going to be a combination and they can decide how they want to do it. It will be a combination of Home Depot gift certificates or gift card or supplies. And I know there were a lot of people that had expressed an interest in getting some supplies like uh, plastic bins or storage boxes or things like that for their comic book room. So the winner and the, and the winner will be able to decide how they want to spend that $250. So the winner will just tell me I want to do 200 bucks here at Home Depot and then 50 bucks in supplies. We will make that magic happen. Uh, the the runner up, the second place person, will basically get a hundred dollars, and that person too will be able to decide how they want to receive that, whether it be supplies, comic book storage boxes, or whether it is a Home Depot gift certificate. It can be all Home Depot, or it could be you know a combination of the two. That each person gets to decide how they want to receive their uh, their cash award. So the uh, the sponsors are going to do a, a little something different. Uh, we have one sponsor that is going to send out to each one of the entrants a prize pack. Uh, specifically, Collector Mount is going to be sending each individual, all four people, some kind of prize pack. First and second place will probably get a little bit more uh, then third and fourth place, but everyone is going to get a little something. Now, collector mount is super dope. Uh, a lot of people ask me almost every week I get, you know, one or two people ask how I hang the comics that are on my wall behind me. It is collector mount. So collectormount.com, head over there or head over to uh, my uh, website and you can actually uh, find some, some discount codes and that kind of things on my partner page for partners like Collector Mount. 
Uh, the other, uh, there's there's three more, three more sponsors that I want to mention. Uh, Comics Price Guide is actually going to be sending out to first and second place some prize packs. Not quite sure of all the details of what they are going to award these individuals, but I have a feeling that it will be pretty solid. And I'm going to give you guys a note here for those that entered in just a couple of moments. Uh, Ready, Set, Collect makes a couple of really fantastic products. They have something called MIP sheets that remove some of the harmful gases from comics. They, they help kind of trap those and remove those from the comic to help the comic be better preserved. These are the same kind of sheets that are used in CGC slabs when CGC puts together a book. Uh, they're going to send out MIP sheets and also uh, a new product that they have called Stick It. Uh, to first and second place. I'm not quite sure how much they're going to send, but first and second place will be receiving a prize pack. The last sponsor, this was uh, a late sponsor that, that, that I was doing some conversations with on some other projects and they were like, hey, can we get in? I was like, Absolutely. You know, who says no to hooking up somebody in the comic book community? So uh, Collector's Resource is also going to be sending out prize packs to first and second place as well. They make some really, really fantastic products for being able to display your comics. I will put links to each one of the sponsors in the description of this video. I definitely want to encourage you to head over to their respective websites, check out their offerings, and potentially do a little bit of business with these individuals if they have something that you are interested in. So if you are uh, one of the individuals that entered the contest, I want to ask you to send me an email with your full name, your full mailing address, your favorite character, your second favorite character. And if you are one of the winners uh, in first or second place, I would definitely ask you to send me an email asking me how you want to receive your cash contribution of either 250 bucks or $100, how you want that broken down between Home Depot and supplies. And if you can also tell me what supplies you want, uh, that'll be even better. But uh, you can always reach out to me. We can have the conversation and I can pull from you all of the information. What I'll be doing is taking your emails, your contact information, sharing it with the sponsors. And each one of our four sponsors are going to be sending out prize packs directly to the winners. It will not come to me. It will go directly to the winners. Um, so you guys will have to keep me in the loop as to what you actually receive. So uh, with that, I want to go ahead and show you guys some really awesome footage from a subscriber of the channel that sent over a really, really dope video. The video was well edited. I actually didn't do any editing on this video. I literally am going to drop that video right here. What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles. I'm doing this video for Reggie Collects YouTube channel. Uh, I really thought this was a great idea to put together a few things uh, for the people in the community to show others what they've done in their comic spaces, their comic rooms, so uh, some people can get an idea of what they'd like to do going forward. Uh, to give you some backstory, uh, this is a really small room that I took in my house. I uh, wanted to display some of my comics, some of my toys, and some of the stuff that I enjoyed growing up as a kid and things that I enjoy still to this day. So sit back, relax, uh, let me show you guys what I've done to this room. All right guys, we are gonna start out here on my comic wall. Uh, this is the first thing that I did to this room. Uh, I moved into this house about a year and a half ago and I knew this was going to be my dedicated office space slash comic room slash tour room. So this is the first thing I did. I saw this on somebody's YouTube channel. I thought it was a fantastic idea. Uh, basically what it is are J channels that you could find over at Home Depot or Lowe's or, or, or one of those places and I basically cut them to fit the size of this wall uh, and the size of a graded comic. You can actually do this with um, non-graded comics as well but I thought this was a really cool looking feature that I wanted to add to this room and probably my favorite uh, in my comic room. I just think it looks really really great and uh, keeps everything nice and neat so... We're gonna move over into uh, the second thing I did. I uh, wanted to buy some cabinets. 
uh, to house some of my major comics. Uh, I ended up putting some uh, under lighting in there that I picked up off of Amazon for cheap. But um, let me scroll back and show you guys what I did. I actually have three all together that I piled next to one another. And I used the top as a shelf. Now, this will probably change at some point. The stuff that I have on top, I just kind of threw up what I have left here after I threw the keys into the bins. Um, I think this the, the actual cabinets look great. Um, they house some of the my favorite and most cherished comics that I have. And I think the lighting looks great too. The only thing that, that really isn't the greatest is that the battery on the uh, the lights, they kind of run out kind of quickly. But, you know, without running wires all over the place for lighting and doing all that stuff, which I did not want to do, it's an easy and cheap fix. So um, that's the second thing I did. Uh, I actually had this in a different setup when I first did it, but I really thought having the cabinets together instead of separated really made it look fantastic. And uh, you guys let me know what you guys think. And then, of course, I have some of my uh, cherished He-Man figures, and I have a couple of sealed uh, NES and SNES games. Uh, we'll move over into uh, something recently that I did, which is my uh, Arcade 1-Up mod of my Punch-Out. So this is another recent addition to this room. I had some empty wall space that I wanted to put a bunch of books up on the wall, but without drilling a ton of holes and putting up individual books. So I saw this on someone else's channel and I copied it again, uh, just, um, I'm not sure what kind of racks these are. These are like closet racks that I took and, uh, put up against the wall at an angle. And I'm going to see if I can show you guys exactly, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard, but there's just a little something that kicks it off the wall. And it actually, I thought it turned out great. It's just a... Basically, different type of shelving I want to use for all of my raw books. And this is not all of them, but a couple of key issue raw books that I have I wanted to display. And I really thought this came together nice. And again, something that I did for around 50 bucks. Got it at Home Depot, threw it up there, and it really holds these book this books nice. So uh, one of the other things that I decided probably over a year ago when I was building this room, and I'm going to slide over, is to do something on this wall. And what I have on this wall is basically just some three foot shelving uh, that holds some of my amazing Spider-Man books. Um, like I said, this stuff has been moved around a million times to, uh, to put where I think it looked best. And it's just basically a three foot section all the way down holding some of my amazing Spider-Man keys, which of course I have near and dear to my heart. Um, and that's really it. That's, that's the basis of my comic room. I do have one other thing I'm going to show you guys that kind of brings this room together for me. And I'm going to show you that right now. So this is the last piece of the puzzle, guys. It is a uh, Jack Kirby rug, a classic Captain America cover that was made into a nice small rug. Uh, my wife picked this up for me last year for Christmas, and I was uh, so, so happy to get it as it really, really ties the room together. So that's it for my room, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you again for Reggie for letting me do it. I was debating doing a second video in which I would actually announce the winners of the comic book room makeover but you know what? I'm actually going to call an audible. I am going to call an audible and we are going to announce the winners of the contest right now in this video. In second place, the second place winner, the runner up is my man, Rob. Rob, you, sir, are the runner up in the first ever comic book room makeover sponsored by Reggie Collects. Congratulations to you. Make sure that you send me that email so that I have all of your contact information for these awesome prizes uh, that the sponsors have put together for you. Uh, congratulations. Uh, the first place winner, the first place winner is Matt. Matt, you, sir, are the first place winner. It gives me a great pleasure uh, to put together an awesome prize pack for you. Well deserved. Uh, I hope that you will enjoy the things that we are going to be sending out to you. Uh, and as as the same with Rob, I hope that both of you are able to make use of the prize packs that are going to be put together for you so that you guys can make over and improve your comic book rooms, your comic book space. Um, this is what it is all about. I want to thank every single person that entered uh, the contest, that sent in videos. I want to thank 
every single person that voted. We had well over 200 people that voted in the contest. We had over 1,700 people watch the video. I think 142 or 20 comments or something like that, like 140 some odd thumbs up and zero thumbs down. Zero thumbs down on a video is quite impressive. I want to thank every single person out there that is watching this video or had anything to do with this giveaway. Uh, this was a really, really fun project to work on. Huge shout out to the sponsors as well for rallying to the comic book community. And thank you to you for, for taking the time to, to watch this video. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to encourage you to give a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment behind to congratulate our winners, I definitely want to encourage you to do that. Maybe you don't say their names right away so that they can actually watch the video and have an opportunity to be surprised that they are indeed the winner. But if you want to say congratulations to the winner and the runner up, I think that that would be greatly appreciated. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so at Reggie Collects on Instagram or Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. That's my email address. Take care.